Thanks for watching another Quick Tip video by Go Engineer. I'm Bruce Schaller, and this Quick Tip video is on our Plastics Simulation Standard package and a particular plot result that we can get out of the package to achieve better results in the injection molding end. So let me go through this with you. This is a part from a my book, Hard Drive. It's the rim of the book, a cover will go around it. Originally this part was injection molded using six gates. So if I looked at the results of this, one result in particular is the gate filling contribution. And this is a real nice plot to be able to see where the gates don't fill you can see I have no red on this one, but also what gate contributes to how much of the fill. So as you're planning gate locations in a part, you can try various options where you place the same amount of gates in different locations to change where weld lines might appear and air traps might appear. And also for the contribution itself to how it fills the part. So if we can fill the part with less gates, it's usually better. So if I go in and look at this part as a four gate part, you can see how our plastic standard package can benefit by going in and seeing will it fill with four and how well does it fill with four so I could see this part can be filled with four gates very easily. If I look at the ease of fill factor, it's all green, but I'm really concentrating on that gate filling contribution plot to see how well it fills. I can look at how much pressure it takes to fill it, but my main concern is can I utilize four gates rather than six to make this production part go a little easier from the injection mold standpoint? And I can easily see I can do that. So our, our plastic standard package alone can show you this with the gate filling contribution plot. Thanks for watching another quick tip video by Go Engineer.